Okay, everyone, this month is a super quickie with low production values because I just moved and I don't have any of my equipment set up. I'm going to be showing you a way to do a nasal packing uh, just using some gel foam and tissue adhesive like Dermabond. The uh, reasons we need to use this sometimes are people with incredibly tiny nostrils. So that's actually happened to me. Um, kids, people with bad rhinoplasties, etc. Uh, people who totally freak out at the idea of a rhino rocket and will not tolerate it at all. That's also happened a couple of times too. So here's what you do. You take some gel foam uh, or other absorbable hemostat product and put some Dermabond or other tissue adhesive on one side of it. The next step is to take the gel foam with the tissue adhesive on it and press the sticky side against the nasal septum. Don't do it backwards. I like to use a Q-tip with a little bit of bacitracin ointment on it to keep the gel foam from adhering to the Q-tip so I can press really firmly. What if it falls off? What if it gets loose and the patient aspirates it? Well, I don't think the aspiration risk is any greater than that of just aspirating a regular blood clot from someone's nosebleed. And we've all seen patients cough those up over and over. And gel foam is absorbable, so even if it got aspirated, you wouldn't have to go after it with a bronchoscope the way you would with gauze, because the gel foam would just be broken down by the body over time. At least, that's the theory behind this. To make sure that it doesn't fall out the other way, I usually put some benzoin on the patient's nose and then put a Steri-Strip over the bottom of the affected nostril the way you see here. That just makes the patient more likely to keep the gel foam in place and for any clot that's forming not to just keep dribbling down their face and have them come running back to the ER uh, because their shirt got messy. Remember, the gel foam is a foreign body, so don't forget to cover with antibiotics and arrange for follow-up, usually in about three days.